to have a boy. How do you know, Bunny? Old Tagliati legend. When a woman instinctively touches her right hand to her stomach, it means a boy. Left hand means a girl. Are you sure it doesn't just mean that she's right-handed or left-handed? Trust me, Heather, you're going to have a boy. Yeah, well, what happens if a woman uses both hands? Well, then it gets complicated. <laughs> I'm like early. I'm sorry, look, I'm not going to be able to make the Lamaze class today. You're my partner. I know. Jerry Calhoun called a special meeting for the committee down at the community center, and uh, i got to do all these plans. i got to be there. Great. It's going to help me with my transitional breathing. That's the most important part. No problem, Heather. If you need a Lamaze partner, I'll help you. Funny, thanks. Look, I already lined up a volunteer. Thank you. Lamaze, anyone? Sophia Capwell. Ah, Sophia, it's Julie. Thank God I finally tracked someone down. What's wrong? Have you heard anything from CC? No, he's still on Serenus. I hope he's with Cruz and Eden by now, but I can't get in touch with him because the phone lines are down. I thought he might have come back. Mason's been trying to get in touch with him. Mason's been trying to get in touch. Mason is back? No, but he called last night. Oh, my God. What did he say? We hardly had a chance to exchange two words. I was incredibly frustrated. I'm not sure if he thought someone was listening in or what, but Cece keeps saying Mason's operating undercover, so I don't know what I expected. He was pretty desperate to reach Cece, and it's got something to do with Robert Barr. Could you meet me as soon as possible so we could discuss it? Well, absolutely. Do you think there's anything the two of us can do? We're going to have to try. Mason said this, this could be very critical for the whole family. A matter of life and death. Yeah, well, any word from the other ships yet? Well, they're still searching, aren't they? All right, you just make certain that they keep in radio contact with them. Well, what's the weather report? Good. Good. CC. Captain says the seas are starting to calm down. CC, they just spotted some wreckage off the port bow. It could be the boat that eating the bar we're in. wrecked in the storm. You had a very high fever for over 24 hours. I was worried to death about you. I was going to cruise. Yes, we didn't make it. We're kind of um, marooned here, at least for a while. Class together. And, and we aren't, Heather. It's just for one night. It's an emergency, right, Mike? Absolutely. Look, you said yourself you're having trouble with the transitional breathing. I mean, you, you couldn't get the hang of it last okay, week. Okay, okay, so I'll work on it myself. You know, I don't like you plotting with him. Plotting? What, me? Would I plot? No, no, Michael wouldn't plot. He wouldn't plot. Oh, you two are very funny. You know, maybe the two of you ought to go to class together. Look, Heather, come on. I'm not asking for much. I'm just asking to, for a chance to assist you in this. That's all. Ouch. What's wrong? <clears throat> Nothing. It's just Braxton Hicks. Braxton who? <laughs> Braxton Hicks means false labor pains. Last one was nine minutes ago. Was there one before that? Yeah, when I gave her a sandwich, it was nine and a half minutes before the second one. What, they're getting closer together? By my calculations, the next one will come in eight minutes and 15 seconds. Buddy, what, are you a nurse in your spare time here? No, or? Heather, I just got a thing when a pregnant woman walks in here. Now, I love this bar, but I don't think you want to tell your kid he was born here. Let's go. 
Come on. I'm not going anywhere. You Heather, guys are come crazy. Come on. Is, is Bunny right about these contractions? Well, yeah, I guess it could okay, be. Okay, well, let's not just assume that it's Braxton Hicks. It could be the real thing. Scott, it's too soon. Heather, one month early is not unusual. Come on, let's go to the hospital. Everything's going to be fine, Heather. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jeez, I Thanks, Bob. Right. Make, make way, make Hi, way. What's wrong? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. It looks like our baby's on the way. Oh, you're <laughs> kidding. The baby's on the way? Yeah, Mrs. Kepler. Nothing like a little excitement to liven up the afternoon. Yeah, really? What can I get you? Uh, uh, two club sodas. That's all. Coming up. Hi. Thanks for coming. You were dead serious on the farm, weren't you? Yeah. With Cece out of town, you and I are the only ones who can do anything about it. The currents are heading this way, so if the Santa Elena broke up here, then the islands can't be too far. These islands right here, right? Let's do it. Let's find out. Captain, you, you know these waters. There are some islands south-southwest of our position. Why don't you get us there as soon as possible, all right? The storm must have ripped their boat apart. You said Eden was a very strong swimmer, didn't you? She's also one of the most determined young women that I have ever met, Cece. I have to keep reminding myself she's been near the water all her life. I know. If anyone could handle that storm, she could. I appreciate your help, Raphael. I know how worried you are about Cruz. I don't understand him leaving Eden side like that. He has to have been in big trouble. I don't know what the hell they were doing in Bar's boat anyway. You know, I haven't known Eden very long, but... Uh, she always has a good reason for whatever she does. I was just remembering. First time I met her down in Mexico, she was so determined that I was gonna meet Cruz and talk to him for the first time in years. She wouldn't take no for an answer. So I went down and I met with both of them. And I could see how much she was in love with him. I felt very proud that my son had found this woman who had such a, a generous and loving and caring soul. My friend, you should be proud the way you raised her. No, 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 no come on, Raphael, I can't take that kind of credit. If it wasn't for Cruz, she wouldn't be the woman she is today. We gotta find her, we have to find her. I wish you would listen to me. How long have we been here? A couple of days. Whatever you're thinking or remembering, I promise you, nothing happened. Why didn't you try to get help? I did. You broke the radio, don't you remember? No. All I remember is... Even if you've been delirious. For a while, you even thought it was ten years ago. It must have been the fever and the trauma. I don't want to hear this. Look, whatever you think you remember about last night is a dream. Nothing happened. You say ten years ago, huh? When you and I were on the island? Yes. You called me Bobby, like you used to. What else? You asked me to make love to you. Okay. And I didn't. Do you think I would take advantage of you like that? Wait, wait, wait. Get out of my way! Where are you going? I'm going to find help. You still have a finger. You can't go out there. You're going to collapse when you get into the sun. Stay away from me. I wanted to make love to you last night. I wanted to more than anything, but I didn't. But there's no way we can get in touch with Cece. I know that. Mason said that the, the connections in Vegas were having a big party tonight. And he seemed certain that they were going to make some announcement as to why Barr was so determined to take over Capital Enterprises. Who's going to be at the party? I don't know. I don't know. I, but he gave me the address and he wanted me to tell... He wanted Cece to get somebody to get inside. Someone that Barr wouldn't recognize. That's the weird part, because I don't even think Barr is going to be there. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Well, if it's as we suspected and Barr is the front man and somebody else is pulling his strings. Did Mason say Barr wasn't going to be there? He intimated it. I talked to Kelly, and Kelly said she thought that Barr was looking for Cruz and Eden in the Ceramics and that he was still there. Cruz, for a long time, has suspected there was someone connected with Barr who's some shady person in Vegas. Maybe this is the guy who's going to host the party. All I know is I want to find out for myself, and I want to go to that party. I don't know, Julia. This really isn't your battle. It could be risky, and it could be dangerous. 
The last thing Mason said to me is that he might be at that party. If there's a chance that Mason is at that party, I want to be there too. When is the party? Tonight. Are you coming? Yeah. I'll go with you. And Julia, I hope Mason is there too. So do I. He's got a lot of explaining to do. All right, I'll call Kelly and tell her what's going on. Good. I've got the address right here. Flamingo Road. I don't know where Flamingo Road is. I don't know anything about Vegas. You need to know something about Vegas? What is on it? It's a fetal and contraction monitor. Well, what's the read, Greta Braxton Hicks? No, no, she's definitely in labor. No question about it. But it's too soon. Yeah, don't worry about it. Dr. Ridgway was called. He's going to be on his way in a few minutes. And we have an incubator standing by, so there's nothing to worry about, okay? You see, Greta's <laughs> taking care of everything. All you got to do is just lie, lie back and relax. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, no. Is that what's starting? Yeah. No, this is just my way of relaxing. All right, looks like six minutes. All right, just concentrate on the breathing. It'll be easy. Uh, easy. Uh, Heather, why don't you just use this as a focal point, okay? Ah, uh, how do you know about focal points, Scott? I took some Lamaze class to repair myself, just in case. Oh, looks like everything's going smoothly oh, here. Good, Daddy. Sweetheart, don't talk. Just keep your breathing steady, all right? She's doing great. How long between contractions? Less than six minutes. Oh. Nice of me to ruin everybody's afternoon, huh? Yeah, it was pretty thoughtless of you not to schedule this for a morning. Oh, oh. Where'd Daddy and Michael go? They're right outside. Scott, I don't want to go okay, through Heather. this. It's okay, Heather. Just concentrate on your breathing. We're going to go through this together. <laughs> Stay away from me. I wouldn't hurt you. How can you not know that? I remember what happened. I remember it as if it happened moments ago. Whatever you remembered didn't happen last night. You were confused. I was kissing you. You were kissing me. Mm. I swear to you, if you ever lay a hand on me, I'll kill you. Nothing happened between us last night. Your clothes were wet. I took them off only to dry them out. I covered you up. That's all. I swear to God. What are you trying to do? last night and half of this morning watching you waiting for your fever to break what kind of man do you think i would be if i, I don't know what kind of man you are i have yet to understand what kind of person you really are you know me better than anyone don't say that you aren't going to get away with it you are i love you and now i know you remember loving me that's all i wanted just go away Keep in touch. This address is in a very exclusive place called the Crestview Hotel. Crestview Hotel? I've never heard of it. Well, a lot of big power brokers hang out there. Does your cousin know anything about this party? Guido said he heard a rumor about a meeting there tonight. Something about a big party in the penthouse. Pen Mason said something about the penthouse. How did Mason get in with these guys? You guys aren't going to fill me in? Funny, we can't. We absolutely can't right now, but we have to get into that party. Oh, give me a break. There's no way the two of you are going to get Come into on, that place. there's got to be a way. We're talking about big money, heavy hitters. You're lucky if you get in the foyer of the hotel. Wait a minute. Why? <clears throat> Why couldn't just two ladies who are out having a good time get in? Well, that's right. There you go. That's right. Especially if we go in on the arm of a very handsome gentleman who happens to be a very well-known name in Vegas. All right, now I'm warning both of you ladies. This is a door that even the Tagliati name might not be able to open. Honey, please, you've got to try. We don't have a chance for your help. This is that important to you? It's critical. All right, come on. We've got a plane to catch. Viva Las Vegas. Is everything all right? Oh, yes, yeah, she's fine. Does she have a baby? No, no, no. She just wanted me to come out and tell you and Dr. Donnelly that everything's all right. Is Scott uh, holding up okay? Uh, perfectly. He's uh, saying all the right things. Because <laughs> she told me that she she didn't really want him in there, but I think deep down she does. I I think so too. 
It, yeah. uh, is the doctor in there? Uh, yes, yes, he is. Seems kind of frantic today. Well, yeah, it has been. Uh, there's been six babies, two girls and uh, four boys. Yeah, do, the, do the men still uh, get disappointed when it's a daughter? No, no. Uh, most of them couldn't be more thrilled whether it's a boy or a girl. As a matter of fact, one of the uh, older nurses on the staff was telling me that years ago, when a male baby was born, they'd come out and say, Congratulations, you have a son. And if it was a girl, they'd come out and say, uh, Mother and baby are both doing well. Well, I'm glad that's changed. <laughs> me too. Did you tell Heather that we, we met last night? Well, yes. Uh, it sort of came up. Small uh, world. Yeah, I guess it is a small town here, huh? Yeah. It, uh, it must be nice, though, having a job where uh, you see a baby born every day. Uh, yeah. When things go well, it's wonderful, and, and when they don't, it's uh, heartbreaking. Well, will you do me a favor just to keep a close eye on her? Uh, yeah. Dr. Ridgway is with her now. Uh, yes, he's a good doctor. <laughs> he's running some tests, and it looks like mother and baby will do just fine. And I will not leave until the baby is in her arms. Thank you. Okay? Uh, maybe we can get together after. Um, I'd love to. Oh, hi. Well, she says, and I quote, tell Grandpa Donnelly I'm doing it by the book. A couple more hours and you're going to have a grandchild. Grandpa Donnelly. I used to call my grandfather grandfather. That's more dignified, don't you think? Well, it's a little stuffy. It's a little hard for a three-year-old to have to say grandfather. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> I'm not so sure. Yeah, well, I, uh, you don't have to decide right away. It's not like the child's going to come out of the womb uh, asking what he's supposed to call everybody. No, I suppose not. But you will be surprised at how quickly this child is walking and talking. And off to college, med school. <laughs> come on, give me a break. He might want to be a lawyer. Or even a priest. I'll pretend you didn't say that. Uh, you mind if I sit down here and wait with you? No, I'd like that. Thank you. Oh. All my years in a hospital. <laughs> this is my first time on the other side. No wonder people act the way they do when I talk to them in waiting rooms. These places need to be more lively. Never seen you like this. Like what? Well, you're just talking so much about so little. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I mean, you have a right to be nervous. She's my little girl. This wasn't supposed to happen for another month, at least. I'm scared about it, Mikey. Me too. I think Heather's probably the only one who isn't, and that's just because she's got so much work to do. Where is she, Mark? Where's my daughter? Where the hell is my daughter? What'd you do to her? Tell me what you did to her. No, tell me! She's down on the beach. Where? Is she all right? Just tell yes, me she's all right. Yes, she's all right. There's a cave down there. You'll find her. Yeah, my boy. See your Robert Barr. The big tycoon. In the States. You know something, Mr. Barr? On this little island, I've got as much power as you do. Who the hell are you? Rafael Castillo, that's who the hell I am. Now, where's Cruz? If you'll tell me, I'll stand aside. Otherwise, you better make a move to the door and just remember this, you may or may not make it. Are you all right? Yeah. Is Cruz with you? No, darling, no. What the hell did bargain on that boy? Well, what the hell did he do to you? What? Tell me. Nothing, Daddy. He didn't do anything. You sure? You sure? Oh, let's go. All right. If I could save time in a bottle First thing that I'd like to do is to save every day 
till eternity passes away just to spend them with you if i could make days last forever if words could make wishes come true i'd save every day like a treasure and then again i would spend them with you but there never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do once you find them i've looked around enough to know you're the one i want to go through time with I remember the night you were born. It was pouring rain when I brought your mother in. I was a resident at the hospital. They didn't allow fathers in the delivery room in those days. They had some very strict rules about that. But I had butted up the head of obstetrics. And since I was on the staff, he allowed me to be there. While your mother was in labor. I'll never forget that night. She worked so hard. And the pain. Oh, I felt so damn helpless that I couldn't take some of that pain for her. And then you were born. And the expression on her face made me understand that it was all worth it to her. I was standing there holding my son. My mother was sitting up in bed and the smile on her face. I know it sounds corny, but she actually had a glow about her. And I never loved anyone in my life the way I loved your mother that moment. Suddenly we were a family. In one quick, wonderful moment. Hello. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh God, it hurts. Okay, come on. Don't yeah. be long now, mother. Every doctor on the staff is worried about you two. You're very popular around here, you know. There's a bet going on whether it's going to be a boy or girl. Okay, okay, blow again. Come on, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The baby looks very strong. You must take after a mother, huh? We've still got some more time, though. I'll be back soon. Right. Oh. Oh. oh, thanks, Scott. That feels good. <laughs> this is hard work, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry to put you through it. Are you kidding me? This is the best thing that ever happened to me. It's getting better every second. Hey, baby, it looks like we're finally going to meet. Yeah, you're going to meet your father, too. I don't know if I'm going to have the chance to talk to you, though, but hopefully we'll be able to change all that. Heather, I'm really sorry for all the hell I put you through. I am sorry, too, Scott. I know there were things that you had to go through and, and things that you had to find out. I know you didn't do it to hurt me. No. The only thing that really matters right now is that our baby's all right. She will be. He. It's gonna be a boy. How do you know that? It's an old Tagliati secret. <laughs> Not to be a lady tonight. Luck to be a lady tonight. Luck if you ever I feel like I'm a lady. No, now, don't you say that, Faye. You don't look like a hooker. You look fabulous. You do too, darling. You look fine. You look fine. All right, now listen to me. This is a classy party. So if we get in the door, and I still use the word if, you're going to feel right at home. Now, don't forget your hired lady, but you're used to being treated right. So play it to the hill. We will not have any problem with that, right? Right, okay. You're ready. Invitations? 
Danny, I don't believe it. How many years has it been? Bunny? Who else? The tech managers had to send some representative. How are you doing, man? Hey, all right. <laughs> hey, listen, I brought the decor for this evening. Ladies, come on in. Come on in. Get in there and make yourself comfortable. <laughs> all in. right, man. Hey, listen, uh, what's the story here? Hey, they don't tell me nothing, Dad. Well, anyway, it was good seeing you. I'm going to have my Aunt Morgana send you a case of marinara sauce. You're looking lean. All right, man. All right. We talk about fortune smiling. Listen, he used to work for my Uncle Mario. Now listen, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go check out the bar, see if anything's happening. I want you guys not to push anything too hard, okay? Nice and easy, nice and easy. This is the strangest looking group of people I've ever seen in one place. This is the kind of place Mason would come to. Do you think that's our host? Well, whoever he is is coming this way, darling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. Are you the hostesses we've been waiting for? Well, my goodness, I certainly hope that you have been waiting for us. I'm Darlene, Mrs. Bay. Well, hi, it's nice to know you. But now we know you, and you don't know us, or... I'm sorry. <laughs> you know us, and we don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's best we keep it just as it is. Well, isn't that wonderful? I just love a man of mystery. Well, let me uh, fascinate you a little bit more and show you around. That'd be great, but you've got to get me a drink first. I think that can be arranged. Hello. Hi. Hi. There. Have we met? Well, no, I don't think so, unless you've done business down in San Antonio. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't I buy you a drink and we can remember the Alamo together? Well, maybe later, all right, because I'm I'm waiting for a friend, okay? Oh my god. Mason? And a very good evening. Are you alone? No, I'm booked. Well, Thank you. Perhaps later we could Well perhaps. Thank you. I thought Mason was supposed to be here. So did I. Yeah, well, I checked every room. He's not here yet. He's working undercover. So if he's here, he's, he's probably in a disguise. Well, I don't see anybody trying to hide their identity except for that guy in the turban over there. You don't think? Definitely not Mason. Well, something's going down here tonight. Everybody's smiling too much. Who do you think put together this combination of people? I know. It's like a cocktail party at the U.N. <laughs> Look, Sophia's last into the big cheese. Maybe she'll find something. I'm surprised I've never seen you in Las Vegas. Well, I'm really just full of surprises. I know most of the girls. I certainly would never have forgotten you. No, I never would have forgotten you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I've been away for quite some time now, but I'm back with a vengeance, and I just love it. I think we're going to get along very well. Of course we're going to get along very well. If you keep throwing shindigs like this, what is the occasion, sugar? Who needs an occasion to throw a party? Oh, come on. Everybody does. What is it, your birthday, big boy? Didn't the agency make it clear to you that you shouldn't ask questions and that you shouldn't drink? Oh. Well, you know, I just guess I have natural curiosity, and a few little drinks brings it right out. <laughs> we all know what curiosity did for the cat. Oh, you are so clever, you know that? <clears throat> We're ready. Excuse me. Yeah, sure. The phone lines are still bad, Serena. I don't give a damn about Serena. This I feel strange having a presentation without Robert. Why do you uh, think I threw this party this evening? Bar's obsession with Eden Castillo has made him totally unreliable. Yeah, but he was in it from the beginning. If it wasn't for Robert, we wouldn't have control of Kaplan. I don't want to hear it. Robert's out. Understood? Yes, sir. Good. Now, uh, bring them down in twos and threes. Look, what they, what they just said, what I could hear, is they're going to do some sort of presentation and the one in charge was adamant about Robert Barr not being here. I've seen the other one in Santa Barbara. I thought he worked for Barr. Right, and the other one was upset that Robert Barr wasn't here, but he didn't seem to balk at taking any orders. You know, Mason was right. This does have something to do with the takeover. Hmm. Well, these people certainly don't work for Wall Street. And why are they being so secretive if it's just business? Well, I guarantee you it's more than that. Look over there at the door. 
Danny's been posted there ever since we got here. Now, Danny's one of the best in the business. We're talking real top security. I guess they're all going down. They're all going down to some presentation, whatever that is. I guarantee you one thing. It's not a Tupperware presentation. All right, well, time's a waste. Let's get going. Can you show me how to get on that elevator? Oh! Come on, push, Heather. Come on, you can do it. Push, push. Come on, Heather, concentrate. Use that energy for pushing. Okay, come on, you can do it, Heather. We're I almost see the there. head. All right, come on, keep it going, Heather. Push. Come on, come on, Heather. I see the baby. Oh! I don't care what you did before I knew you. I care about now. It's because you didn't know what I did before I met you. Whatever it was, it turned you into you. Yeah, I don't particularly like the idea of you being with somebody else, but so what? I got more important things to think about anyhow right now, and so do you. Like what Robert Barr is really up to. The future of your, of your family, of your, of your business, it, it may all be at the mercy of whatever the hell it is he's covering up. So the man can buy, uh, buy off a little island. We have to make sure that the rest of us are not for sale. What was it like? The island. Well, I doubt it's changed much in the last 10 years. Everybody on Las Sirenas seems to remember La Rubia. You made quite the impression. And so what? So you had some fun? Is that a crime? I was a little crazy when I was going through my teens, too. You know, everybody was. If I didn't paint my name on somebody's wall, it's not because I didn't want to. You saw the wall? Yeah. Eden is here to stay, it said. Except you weren't, were you? Fate had other plans for you, like getting you into the flow of events that led you to me, so that you and I could be together, darling, like we're supposed to. Once you tell me, it'll belong to both of us and we can let go of it. But if you keep putting it off, it just makes it hurt too much. Well, you have to eat something. No, Daddy, I'm not hungry. When are we leaving? Soon, soon. We gotta get to San Sebastian. We have to find Cruz. You told me he went to the prison there. Yeah, he wanted to find out if Robert Barr had ever been in that prison. Why would Barr have been in that prison? I don't know, Daddy. We just have to find Cruz. We will, sweetheart. We're pulling up anchor now. Honey, did something happen on this island? I mean, did, did, did Barr hurt you in any way? No. I don't understand why the hell you and Cruz came down here in the first place, then. Uh, we came down here because he wanted me to... We needed to find something about Robert's past. Eden, look at me. Serenus, you know. It was the island you were on ten years ago. I know, Daddy. I know that. You told me that you uh, fell in love on that island, darling. That you wanted to marry the man you fell in love with. Does this happen to be this? Eden, does this happen to be the same man? See, see. We're ready to go. Oh, is Robert on this yacht? No, I left him some provisions. We radioed for another boat to pick him up. I hope it's a slow boat. A very slow boat. Excuse me. What's wrong? Oh, my God. I'm not sure, but I intend to find out.
Great, and so is our son. A boy. A boy. A boy. All right. Congratulations. Hey. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And thanks for being so great with Heather today. All right. You said the baby is fine. The baby is doing great. He's in the incubator right now, but all the signs are normal. I'm telling you, he is a fighter. <laughs> wow. Great. Can we see Heather now? Well, she's asleep right now. She was really exhausted. But I got to tell you something. She. She was great. Well, I'm sure her coach was, too. Thanks. Yeah, uh, you can probably see the baby in about an hour. A healthy grandchild. <laughs> this calls for a celebration. Well, I think you're right, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, oh, and one other thing. Uh, before Heather dozed off, she decided on a name for the baby, and I think it's a great choice. Our son's name is Michael. But there never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do once you find them. Looked around enough to know that you're the one I want to go through time with. Something definitely going on with that guy's taking everything. All right, this is our chance. We all know what to do, right? All right. Julia, I don't like you taking this chance. We're not going to get hurt. Now, let's go. Good luck to everybody. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. Oh, my goodness. I just need... Where is that waiter with the drinks? I need something to steady myself. What did I tell you about drinks? Well, uh, I, uh, I don't know. I just... Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh ah, shit. you idiot. Who are you calling an idiot, idiot? I'm the highest paid pianist in Vegas. Well, it just goes to show you how desperate this town is, huh? Uh, Where do you think you're going? I'm just going to go to the power room because I've had a little too much to... Oh, oh, oh. Don't you just... By combining the natural resources and the international network of capital enterprises with the management of bar industries, we will be able to reach our final goal, the trading of profits for power. What are you doing here? Honey, please speak to me. I can't stand the silence. Please, Daddy, please just try to understand. I need to be by myself. Okay. We'll be in San Sebastian Harbor in two hours. Thank you. Make love to me, Bobby.